Welcome to the uh, new Y9 here at Palmer Boat Show. Carbon Yachts is the distributor for Australia and New Zealand and we're just going to do a quick walkthrough and show you the flagship for uh, Y Yachts. This setup here is with the plotters here, you've even got a pop down plotter here, all your jib, code zero, everything can be operated here at the helm station, sitting from here. There's too many options to go through uh, today on this boat, but you know, for things like it's got the ocean vault uh, charging system that probably puts in about eight kilowatts per hour. Up here, you've got the solar on the uh, hardtop bimini but it's also got a uh, 24 kilowatt generator down below. You've got your hatch here for your aft cabin and basically your dining area through here, which has the tables that can open up and also go into uh, sunbeds. On the stern of the boat here, a little crane comes out from the boom or there's a little area here where you pop in the, the, the arm and once the hydraulic lifting uh, platform here, or let's say, opening platform here comes up, we can uh, uh, launch the dinghy off the back of the boat. In this boat we've got a 3.6 metre inflatable, but they're about to swap that out for a, roughly a 4 metre, either a Williams or a Gillis. And as you're going forward you'll see this magnificent hardtop which clears go all the way around. So speaking to the skipper, he said he's been here in 65 knots and been able to just to sit here under this shelter of the hardtop with the full clears and, uh, and with the wind blowing and just taking all the area up in there without even having to be down below. So it's a fantastic uh, deck space it has with this hard top. So like all Y yachts, everything's constructed of carbon fibre, including the T-top here, the hull and the deck. So the whole construction of the boat is fully carbon fibre. This is where this groove here in the deck through the through the uh, area here comes a dodger, which can then also come up to, uh, to the cabin here on the T-top. So this is a vast deck area with an opening big storage hatch here. Further forward, you've got your storage here for your staysail, which can be adapted here for the staysail. And obviously you've got your code zero on the very bow with your anchor system. This boat, unlike many of the Y yachts now, have also got lift keels, which gives you a you know, draft all the way down, around that four to four and a half, all the way up to just under three metres, which is perfect on a 90 foot boat to be able to have under three metre draft. And the tonnage of this boat, being fully carbon fibre, is around 45 tonnes. Like on all the Y yachts, they're using the Axon carbon fibre rig, and this one's also got the V-boom. Draw fridge there for your drinks. Opening hatches underneath, which you'll see from down below. Nice companionway system here that just slips up. So nice and easy to close up the boat at the end of the day. Now we'll head down below. So this one's been finished in an oak for the owner who also did have a Y7, you might have seen before, called Bella. This is the same owner. Some of the same traits as you see in the, all the Y yachts is Michael's almost train uh, handles when you're at sea. All these hidden little cupboards through the boat. I love the way they do this here, giving that sort of feeling of more space that you can actually hear. Like standing, I can actually see everything on deck and then through the, all the hull windows, everything through the water. So it's this amazing, it's almost like a deck saloon with the, uh, the full windows going all the way around the boat. I think this is going to be one of the best positions since it's on the boat. Here you are, TV, not sure what size screen that is, but somewhere between 65 inch, I'd say. And you can look straight out these windows here, this level, I can see everything on that marina across there. I can see through there. I can even see through the window uh, where the the open study is. Again, great storage through here. Stereo system, 
air conditioning running through there. And then you've got this dining table for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, probably nine people. Nice little add-on through here where you've got a fridge for your drinks right next to the dining table. And every time you go through the boat, you see this detail of the chairs even here, the buttons that hold the chairs. And all fits with everything else that's in the boat. As we go forward here, we've got, I guess, a little study nook or an area where you can just chill out here, like a chaise lounge. All the detail of the lights and fittings right through the boat. Combination of the floors, it's almost like a little gray oak and then goes with this uh, tinted oak. So it all just blends beautifully. It feels like you're in a, almost a sort of a five-star hotel. Another TV. This one here is a guest cabin coming through here with a toilet and shower. And then the owner's cupboard forward. Also a walk-in wardrobe. It's a very nice bow cabin. Lots of storage all the way around. Lockers in the top putting bits and pieces on the port side and on the starboard side. Quite deep lockers with shelves, three shelves in each, and a fiddle. And again, another one of Michael's in-house trademarks, the little leather door openers. As we go through here, the sliding doors, got this magnificent Ensuite for the owner, double sink with separate head and separate shower. Loads of storage for the owner, cupboards either side. Coming, coming further aft to the gully and the crew quarters and access to the engine room also behind here. Again, this is the first boat and the second boat just being launched has slightly changed the configuration here. Through here, you've got another cabin with two single beds and a toilet and a separate shower, allowing you to have two guests aft, another two guests forward, and then the owner's cabin, and then a full crew cabin. Behind the door here, we have the uh, laundry with the washer and dryer. And through here is, this is actually sort of a double, double door to keep the insulation quiet, but right through there is really worth having a look at. You can sit in there where you've got the full engine room. Twin engines, twin rudders, twin engines, just the same as the Y7. Everything else generator is all in that one engine room area. Quite an amazing uh, crew cabin on this one. This only uses three crew. And we've got two bunks here, again with a separate shower and toilet through here. Great little area here for dining. A bit more electronics, which the crew can have a, a look at without having to go up on deck, but can go up on deck through this escape hatch if, if need be quickly. Same again aft. This one's almost probably a double really. I mean, it's that big when you look at the two pillows. Going across, it's probably a double bed there and a single bed there and a toilet and shower. So every cabin's got a separate shower from the toilet. The cupboards through here for your cleaning products and bits and pieces. Through here for your cleaning bits and pieces, wine storage, even a whiteboard for uh, putting their tasks of the day on. So that's a quick walkthrough on the Y9 from Y Yachts. I'm Peter from Carbon Yachts. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and we look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.